Hello everyone, this is Rukshika Rajkumar from Arduino Projects by R. Sorry I have not uploaded in a while, but today I am back with an interesting project. So this project is the RFID health tag project. And for this project I have used both Arduino and Python. So as you can see here, I have the MRFC522 RFID uh, reader, two push buttons, my Arduino uh, Uno uh, microcontroller, a solderless breadboard and some jumper wires. And as you can see here, I have five RFID key tags, one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'll be using these five uh, key tags as the help tags. So this project helps us to keep track of uh, the individual's vaccination status and their bio data. And to make this possible, I have used Tkinter, a GUI library with uh, which I have created a GUI interface for the user to enter their bio data and their vaccination details. Uh, the red button is used to submit the information and the other push button is used to retrieve the data and uh, the submit button is connected to D4 and the white button is connected to D5. The semantic and uh, the code explanation can be found in my blog and the link for the blog page is found in the description box below. So before I show you how this works, let me give you a glimpse of how uh, the system is. So uh, you cannot submit or retrieve information unless uh, one of the key tags is scanned. So when you press uh, these buttons, you will uh, get a warning uh, or an error message. Um, so before you submit or uh, retrieve information, that means before you uh, press these push buttons, you have to scan one of these key tags in the RFID reader. So let me show you how that works. So let us see what would happen if we uh, press the submit button uh, instead of uh, scanning the RFID tag first. So I'm going to press this. Uh, it shows us a warning uh, saying please scan ID first. So let's uh, let us scan our ID first and then try to submit some information Okay Okay, so I have the first RFID key tag here and I'm gonna scan it now And when we scan we can see the transmit LED in the microcontroller board uh, light up so uh, in that manner we know uh, when our uh, key tag is scanned so right now this key tag is scanned, so uh, let me try to submit information. So I'm going to press the uh, red push button. And now we can see a GUI interface. Uh, so this is the unit tag for each uh, RFID key tag or our health tag. So uh, it has uh, the name, date of birth, age, gender, blood type, health conditions and medications. So this is going to be the bio data for the individual and then we have the vaccination details. So uh, the vaccination status, we have two radio buttons for them, vaccinated and not vaccinated. So the people who are not vaccinated can check in this uh, radio box and then uh, they would not need to uh, submit any information for these two entry fields or pick a date. So let me enter the details. So when we click on get date, it's going to update uh, the date of birth and your age automatically. So let me get it. Okay, so here we can see the date of birth and my age. So so those without health conditions can uh, or medications can leave these two entry fields blank, and it's not going to. Uh, show an error message so when i try to submit this without uh, entering the details it's going to give us an error message and now i 
have the pick dates uh, where I uh, pick my vaccination dates so as I have two uh, dose here I have to pick two dates but if I pick just one date and try to uh, display them it's going to give uh, an error message so let us try this first okay so it, this one shows the date you've selected so you would know if it's correct or wrong and now when I try to display it it shows please try again because I have entered uh, two number of doses but I have only selected one date so I'm going to try this again so right now uh, it displays the vaccination dates and this is uh, going to be stored in uh, the memory so let me exit this and now let me submit so uh, the information has been submitted because uh, when information is uh, successfully submitted this button will be disabled and let's try to scan our next tag and now let me exit this so i've got my second rfid health tag here and let me scan it okay so what would happen if i try to retrieve the details for uh, the card that i just scanned it does not have any information so let's uh, try to see what happens now we can see an error message saying that saying that there is no information stored in this ID please press the rest please press the red button to uh, submit the information so let us try to submit some information before we try to retrieve the details for that health tag so I'm pressing the red button again As you can see, uh, the ID has been changed because we've used a different uh, RFID tag. So not, now let me uh, submit some random information. now let me try to uh, retrieve the details that were stored for the first tag so I'm going to scan the tag and we've seen uh, the transmit LED light up so I'm going to press the other button so as you can see here this is the information that's stored on my tag uh, the first uh, help tag so this is my ID my name date of birth age gender blood type and i did not submit uh, any information for health condition and medication so they uh, show us that there is none and then my vaccination status uh, the name of my vaccine uh, number of dose and my vaccination dates are displayed over here so this is how you'll be uh, seeing for each and every tag for more interesting projects or tutorials, please uh, follow my blog and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and share.